in this question uh, we are asked to draw kinetic energy versus time graph of a particle performing SHM. Now consider a particle performing SHM along the x axis whose equation must be given by x equals to a sin omega t plus phi. To get the velocity of the particle we have to differentiate uh, the position with respect to time therefore velocity will be given by or in other way we can write it as where v naught is the maximum value of the velocity which, which must be equal to a omega. Since a kinetic energy of a particle is given by half m v square therefore from the expression of velocity we get we get half m v naught square cos square omega t plus phi. From this expression we can say the dominating function of the kinetic energy is cos square. Since period of the cos square function is pi by coefficient of t that is omega and again omega is equal to 2 pi by capital T where capital T is the time period of the particle performing SHM. Therefore, period of the function is t by 2. That means, the correct graph will have a period t by 2 in the given 4 options the only option which is having the period t by 2 is option number 2 therefore, the correct option is option number 2. In the question number 2 we are asked to find difference in difference in number of moles even number of molecules in a room in which pressure and volume remain constant. Now, according to the ideal gas equation we get PV equals to nRT. In an open room pressure and volume remain constant therefore, due to change in temperature number of moles will also change. From this expression we get the difference the change in number of moles as PV by R 1 upon T final minus 1 upon T initial. Obviously, where T final and T initial are the temperature in Kelvin uh, from the given data T final is 27 plus 273 and T initial is 17 plus 273 Kelvin. To get the uh, this expression will give number of moles to get the number of molecules we have to multiply by the Avogadro number therefore, number of molecules. given will be given by P V by R 1 upon T final minus 1 upon T initial into 6.023 into 10 to power 23. From here we get the value as minus 2.5 into 10 to power 25 therefore, the correct answer is correct option is option number 2.